Hi all. In this video, I am going to share about one of the most important Salesforce QA interview question, which is what is a junction object in Salesforce? Okay, let's start. So basically, junction object in Salesforce is mainly used to perform a many-to-many -many relationship. Okay, many-to-many -many relationships means what? For example, on Salesforce, if we are having two objects, then if we want to perform many-to-many -many relationship between the two objects, then a junction object will be used in Salesforce. Now, many-to-many -many relationship means what? For example, uh, let's take two uh, tables, okay? Consider it as an object also from Salesforce perspective. Like first table, we have an employee table, okay? And the second table, which we have is a course table, okay? So now, the in the first table, we have the employee details, right? Like the employee name, employee ID, location, okay? In the second table, we have the course name, course ID and the duration, how many months uh, that particular course will take for this uh, employee to complete, okay? Now, many to many relationship what any particular employee can purchase any course, right, from this particular one. For example, here, John, John is one of the employee, right? So he can either uh, enroll into development course or testing course or Salesforce course or automation course. So it's a, if we are considering John only, then it's a one to many relationship, okay? But it's not only John, right? Like any employee can take any number of courses, right? So any employee means what? Multiple employees here, like John can take development course, Sam also can take the development course, Lily also can take the development course, right? Arun can take the testing course, Lily also can take the testing course. So it's from this side, it's a many relationship. And from this side also, it's a many relationship because now, for example, Salesforce course can be taken by all four or any one of them or any two, like however it is, right? So this is called as a many to many relationship in general, okay, between two tables, okay? Now, why to form a junction object, first of all, we'll understand, okay? You can see, right, the same tables. The first table is the employee table we have. Second table is the course table, okay? Now, uh, as of now, you guys can please ignore this table, okay? I'll explain it. Now, many, many to many relationship, right, between these two tables. Now, if you want, like, for example, if you want to form any relationship between these two tables, now, we are considering this as a primary key, okay? In this particular table, this is the primary key, okay? Now, if the same employee ID, this primary key should be for as a foreign key in this table also, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and add this employee ID over here, okay? Simply, if we want to form like this. Now here, what is happening? I added uh, employee ID, this will become my foreign key, okay? Now, see, it's like John. John wants to take the development course, but even John wants to learn the testing course as well, okay? So it's like, we have to repeat again, right? Same thing again, testing. I have to add it over here, okay? Now, another thing is now, Sam. Sam is taking the testing course. Sam even wants to learn the automation as well, okay? So, now, Sam also even wants to learn the automation. Then what is happening again? Here, I have to repeat this, okay? Now, here, what is happening actually if we are doing like this data redundancy is happening, okay? You can see here, right? Like the same values we are repeating, okay? In the same table. So, it's a data redundancy, okay? So, to avoid this only, we are forming a junction object, okay? Now, this one we cannot do, okay? Data redundancy is happening, okay? Now, we'll check the other way around, okay? Now, okay, for example... This is the primary key. Now, this table we will consider the same. I want to consider here foreign key. Okay. In reverse, I am doing now here. If we want to do like this in a many to many relationship. Now, here also, <coughs> John. Okay. John wants to take the testing course, you think, for example. John is already taking a development course now. Even John wants to take the testing course as well. Then again, what you have to do here also, the same row. 
again you have to repeat with this is a development testing course right again you have to repeat you can see right see john john so the same values you are repeating again in the object means what again data redundancy okay so here all of you guys understood right this way also we cannot do because if you are doing on the first object as well again we are repeating the data again we are facing the data redundancy issue okay so this also we cannot do okay now you guys understood right this is the main reason why we are creating a junction object okay this is very important to understand now this is the junction object so how to reduce the data redundancy for many to many relationship between these two objects one thing is you can create another object having the foreign keys of these primary keys okay now for example in this table what is my primary key employee id okay now the same primary key for a many to many relationship i want to be added it as a foreign key in another object right so employee id i added in this object as a foreign key okay now the course id course id is the primary key in my object over here now the same thing i want to consider it as a foreign key in another object okay so i added over here course id as foreign key okay now you guys understood right there is no redundancy over here now we eliminated the redundancy okay so that is the main reason why in salesforce a junction object will be created for a many to many relationship okay mainly to avoid the data redundancy okay so now you guys understood right once again let's see so we have first table uh, employee table where the primary key is the employee id now we have the second table which is the course table with the primary key is the course id now on salesforce to form a many to many relationship between the first table or the first object and the second object salesforce on salesforce we will be creating a junction object okay junction object will be created between two objects for a many to many relationship okay how like um, primary key in the first object we will consider as one foreign key over here and the primary key in the second object that also we will be considering as a foreign key over here you can see here right employee id and the course id so in this way you can easily form the many to many relationship between two objects by avoiding the data redundancy okay this is called as the junction object now another thing is junction object is having two master detail relationships okay this also you need to understand now for example how we will know like two master detail relationships now see this is the first object right now consider this as a master okay why i'm saying it as a master this is a master and now here my employee table is a master and the final junction object will become the detail so this is the first master detail relationship why i'm saying like this because here we are having employee id right okay for example i'm deleting the first employee table you think okay then we don't even have the employee id also if i'm deleting then what is the purpose of having this okay so the main functionality of master detail relationship is what if a master is deleted then automatically the data which is matching in the detail section also will be deleted okay so that is the main functionality of the master detail relationship the linkage okay so now here if i am deleting the first employee table then obviously here there is no need of having the employee because employee table is only not available okay so the employee table and this junction object we can call it as a first master detail relationship now what is the second master detail relationship now this course table is there right course table and the junction object this can be called as the second master detail relationship why if i am deleting my course table like any course id or whatever it is then automatically this also gets deleted from the junction object that is the thing right if there is no course id itself from the main table purpose of having it in the junction object right so now in this manner in any junction object we will be having two master detail relationships okay one with the first object and the junction object and the second one is with the second object and the junction object in our example it will be with the employee table and the junction object second master detail relationship will be between the course table and the junction object so you guys got it right this is a very important interview question obviously they are going to ask you guys even in salesforce qa interview also as i already mentioned 80% of the questions they are going to ask you on salesforce admin concepts only okay so when it comes to salesforce admin concepts junction object is one of the major important concept okay so very important to understand okay
junction object will be having two master detail relationships okay thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you found this video really helpful